So there was this weird interaction that happened on Twitter, which all started with this guy, Maxi Lobes, having an opinion about the most recent stream rewards. He took particular issue with this category of best speedrunner. So stream rewards, congrats to the nominees for best speedrunner, Squeaks 15, Virtual, Distortion 2, Liam King's TV. Virtual being a Track Mania, Distortion being mainly Souls games, but a lot of different speedruns. Liam being one of, if not currently the best Mario 64 speedrun. And Squeaks, I don't know, he's friends with the people who run the event. Maxi, he wrote this uh, prior to a, a winner being announced, where he said, I, I know this award show is a meme, but this not winning this would further prove how big of a meme it really is. He has a 10 plus year legacy in 30 plus games at a high skill level, while also entertaining the most amount of people on a daily basis on stream. Also, speedrun is one word. Yeah, they, they've said speedrunner as two words. This sentiment is one that I think anyone kind of in the sort of speedrunning community more than just one specific game would recognize that Distortion 2 is one of the most popular streamers of all time. But he's also a person who's dedicated himself to speedrunning more than perhaps any other streamer I'm aware of. Like I've been asked in the past, who is the best speedrunner as a whole? And I've answered, unironically, Distortion 2. That doesn't mean he is the best necessarily. Like I don't know every other speedrunner, but an opinion that many speedrunners would share who've been in this game for quite a while is that Distortion 2 is definitely up there. In that like virtual me, people like that, we, we've moved into challenge runs as, as well and, and we do more other content creation and stuff where Distortion 2 has dedicated himself to being a speedrunner and has competed at a very high level in so many games as uh, Maxi here acknowledges. So this take here didn't seem all that bad to me, right? It's just a statement of an award show is a bit of a meme and uh, Distortion 2 is a person very much so deserving uh, of the award of best speedrunner. But this ruffled some feathers, surprisingly. So QT Cinderella, the person who runs the event, the significant other of, of Ludwig, she says down here, Brother Bear, the goal of the show is to highlight people in the industry, to be able to have a vessel to congratulate one another and to bring people together. The fan voted Golden Frog goes to whomever fans think was the most entertaining. If that's a meme, I'm sorry. So the disagreement here seemed to be basically over what best speedrunner means, where Maxi is taking best speedrunner to mean, you know, the best speedrunner. But in reality, what this award would be assessing is who is the most popular streamer who happens to be a speedrunner. It kind of has nothing to do with your pedigree, your credentials as a speedrunner, anything you've achieved as a speedrunner, and more, have you managed to gain popularity and have some association with speedrunning? You could look at it as a, a disagreement as to what the category is meant to be assessing. She says down here, it does the three things I made the show for. In fact, here you are on the TL bragging about his accomplishments when otherwise you wouldn't have had a reason to. So thank you for helping a more positive narrative in the industry. So this is just amazingly snarky and bitchy. I'm sorry, like a backhandedly thanking him for a statement that you clearly didn't want him to make and insulting him in this way and drawing all this negativity upon him. Like if you thought his statement was perfectly fine and doing what you wanted to achieve, th then why are you complaining about it? My statement on this was, QT Cinderella seemed to object to him calling her award show a meme. But obviously, award shows in general, not just her award shows, but in general, award shows are a meme. <laughs> in other words, a bit of a joke. So I said in response to her tweet here, the streamer awards highlight people in the industry by awarding the most popular 1% of the 1%, those who need them least, defining best as just most popular. Like the people who win these awards are like Moist Critical, XQC, yeah, like, <laughs> Hassan's won these awards. It's like, it's not even highlighting people in the 1%. It's like the 1% the one of the 1%. It's just, it's just a weird thing to say that that's the goal of the awards. Uh, <laughs> as I go on to say, it's a club for the elites to have fun, network, and congratulate each other on being rich and famous. Totally fine, but a meme. The event allows most specifically Ludwig or QT, but all there to build relationships with those who achieve or maintain popularity. Everyone won't vibe, but those who do will build networks with collab and business opportunities. Awards just get people in the room. It is a meme. The stream awards are fine. Everything has its event for the elites to pat each other on the back, but pretending it exists to fix the problems of the most popular not getting enough recognition is crazy. The awards are a meme, an excuse to stroke ego, have fun and network. I don't know why she would feel insulted for that to be pointed out, because that's obviously true. There are awards shows that seek to like a, a, a assess more objective measures. Uh, like the Olympics, for example, where people know what they're competing for and then they get tested in that competition. And so the winners are about capability, about a, a achievement in some way. But awards that just assess popularity are a meme. 
you can look up the list of the most popular streamers, put them into categories, and those are the guys who are probably going to win. You, you know the outcome before it even begins. And I don't think XQC needs another award. I don't think Asmongold needs another award. It, it's just silly. But you'd be insane not to both accept these awards and go to these events if you're invited to them because they're just a very good opportunity to meet people of a like mind in the industry. So a lot of scummy people as well, but like not everyone at the top is, is, is a scumbag. Uh, we, we talk about this seemingly every year. Of course you would go. Of course you'd be like, yes, I won this award. I'm the best. Acknowledge me. Could you get some good PR? You meet some nice people, hopefully, and you, you, you make connections, you collab and stuff. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are various different collabs that I could probably point to from years past that only happen because of these events. It's a good move. I don't know whether they'd be profitable for Cootie Cinderella in terms of like a, a direct financial return, but building relationships and stuff, then the networking opportunities, people merely feeling, you know, building an association with QT and Ludwig, that, that's obviously got some material benefit. So if you're, if you're just looking at it from a business perspective, it's a, it's a good thing to host if you're willing to go the kind of effort. But again, I, it, it just seemed very strange how hostile QT was to this statement from Maxi, which was ultimately breaking it down is award shows are a bit of a meme, but distortion is like really, really good. And like, like, he got massively ratioed, massively dogpiled on. In fact, the only reason why I heard about this was because it was mentioned in the Speedring Discord, where everyone was like, why is everyone beating up on Maxi for, for a very lukewarm take about award shows? But I guess because he's much, much smaller of a creator, QT was perfectly willing to just like put him up against the wall, just beat him in the face. Because he said something mildly critical of, of something she does. A very bad look for her, but I, I don't think... People necessarily looked at it that way. It, it, it came across as like, how dare this peasant insult me and my awards? It's nuts. Yeah, the, the responses here are like, QT, you have the patience I aspire for. Queen shit. Gagged him. Queen shit right here. Dropping the crown. She's just randomly attacked a dude on Twitter for being mildly critical of her award show in pointing out something that is like absolutely true. <laughs> Just dogpiling on a small creator. She's like, I want to bring attention to people in the industry, the, the, the small people. What's that? A peasant doing something I don't like? Kill him! It just seemed nuts to me. And and I think it kind of it reveals maybe some less positive things about QT and her mentality towards things, but I don't know. But I'm lying though. The discussion among speedrunners was not critical of Maxi. Obviously his take was perfectly fine. And again, stream rewards are perfectly fine. As long as you don't pretend that they actually mean something. It is obviously just an event for fun and it is no, in no way, shape or form designed to bring attention to smaller creators or anything along those lines. It's a circle jerk of people who are very successful and very famous, as they all are. At least those that don't seek to assess some objective measure or, uh, or aren't related to some sort of actual competition. Stream rewards are garbage? What's garbage about them? They're perfectly fine. Again, you just need to not take them too seriously as, as QT apparently does. But I bet she probably puts a lot of effort into them and, and, and wants them to be something more than a meme, but they, they can't be. They're, they're a popularity contest. All popularity contests are just memes. Stop! Now that I have your attention, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. I wish you all the best.